Hello everybody, this is Mr. Mogs 2009 and today I'm going to show you how to change the text in these text effects in Particle Illusion 3. You have to change the text in a different program because there's no text generator in Particle Illusion which is a little bit annoying but it's still a great program. So we're going to open up Photoshop, you can, st you can also do it in Paint if you don't want to buy Photoshop uh, start on a new canvas I've made a preset for this makes it a lot easier width 1000, height 300, resolution 300 RGB colour uh, I put a transparent background on it because otherwise you have to bring the visibility down in particle illusion which makes the text seem a little bit dull so if you put a transparent background on it like an alpha channel it doesn't mess with the text so we're going to create our text <coughs> center it up close enough no, obviously that looks fucking stupid like that so you come up to the styles and then you got these different ones you can bring your own textures in but I'm going to stick with this one uh, now we're going to save it as a PNG file save as let's call that PI shape Save it as PNG. Yeah, replace that. No interlacing. And we're finished in that. Now, uh, we'll just use this one. So, right click on it and bring up the properties. We're using this one here. Converge, swirl, grow, spin. Open up the controls for it. Highlight word. And then we want to change the shape. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, now, this plus button here, add new shape to library, and then just bring in the text we just created. Uh, you want it on full colour well, you can have it whatever the fuck you want but I'm having it on full colour click OK and then click make active make sure enables checked and then click OK now we've highlight that and we're ready to bring it into our stage that's probably going to look quite small so bring the size up yeah, that looks ok and play that yeah that's pretty good now you're ready to export it save as no, we always save it as an AVI, it seems to come out better. Sometimes it comes out a bit pixelated, so AVI is always the best. And then click OK, you can choose whatever one you want, but I stick with the DV video encoder. Click OK, start frame and end frame, make sure that's on one. Click OK. That'll render it out. And that's all there is to it. So I hope this tutorial's been helpful. Uh, good luck with it, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.